My name is Chris Trammell. I'm a two-time member of the USA kickboxing team, having competed in Europe and in China. I'm a SCL 2014 Muay Thai champion, Muay Thai fighter of the year, and also winner for Muay Thai fight of the year in Colorado. I'll be competing at Glory 24 soon in Denver, and it'll air on CBS. I started my MMA career uh, moving out to Las Vegas when I was 23 years old. Uh, I've been in martial arts since I was five years old, though. Uh, moving out to Vegas, I became a member of Randy Couture's team, trained with a number of uh, UFC legends, Hall of Famers. Eventually, we landed to an injury where I broke my wrist and had to transfer to kickboxing because I could no longer grapple or post on the mat, but I had a pretty easy time punching people in the face. Uh, I fought the number one fighter in China, uh, the number 187 pound fighter in a country of billions on national TV. I uh, had, I think, 300 million viewers in China. That was pretty epic. And uh, also winning the SCL Muay Thai title for the middleweight division in 2014 was a crazy fight. Broke my ribs in the first round and had to fight on until there was 30 seconds left and I knocked my opponent out. Yeah, so a couple injuries, broke my wrist really badly, and that, that was what derailed my MMA career. I was on a nice up-and-coming streak winning fights until that happened, so that took three, three or four years of recovery, actually, from rehab to take its effect and for me to be able to start competing again. And when I did, I had to transfer to kickboxing where I could only punch straight. Uh, my first impression was it was kind of a do-all for an ice pack. You put it everywhere. I've had, uh, obviously, throughout the sport, several injuries, lumps, bruises, things that was, it wasn't really convenient to put an ice pack on, especially when you're constantly on the go. Maybe you're training and injured, plus you have to teach like I do. I teach classes all day long at my gym, so a lot of times I'll finish a training session and have to go right to teaching, and it's, it's really convenient to be able to strap something on any area of my body that might be hurting and not have to worry about it falling off or shifting around or anything like that while I'm still moving and helping and teaching other people. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Just kind of see what I want to see where this path takes me now. I've been on it for quite a while, and it feels like uh, all the work that I've invested is finally paying its dividends. And look forward to building a little more for myself than I have along the road. I've kind of been a traveling samurai and done this full time, so now I'm uh, really expecting the uh, payoff, not just financially, but also in you know the, the sense of personal rewards of having pursued this for so long. Yeah, I started this because uh, I'm more of a martial artist to my core than a professional fighter in a sense. I've always said I'm more artist than martial. Uh, and, and the whole journey has kind of been about, you know, a journey of self-discovery, journey of enlightenment, of uh, understanding myself and trying to understand my place in this world a little bit better. So it's definitely uh, a path that provides for a lot of spiritual growth, personal growth, uh, et cetera. I, I mean, there's always the need to ice right after training, and I know a lot of fighters, a lot of athletes will tend to avoid it because it's sometimes if you obviously don't have, you know, any sort of preparation or don't have any sort of product like this, you're going to have to run around trying to find somewhere to get ice, something to put it in. A lot of times people are hungry, they want to get out of the gym, they have things to do, family to get home to, and the necessary care for the body just doesn't really get looked after. Uh, this makes it pretty convenient. You can carry it around with you, attach it to your backpack, attach it to anything else, got a little handle on it. Uh, keeps the ice cold for a long period of time, so you really don't have to worry about running around trying to replace it constantly. So it, it really is probably going to make it a lot more convenient for a lot of people to two ice after training or even in the midst of their work day. The ability to uh, keep the ice cold for a long period of time is definitely something you don't have with just throwing the ice in a plastic bag where it tends to melt and drip out and fall everywhere. And uh, I also like that you can fill it with hot water because I do a lot of heat therapy. So to be able to be that versatile and use it for both things, it's, it's uh, really good buy, really convenient. The biggest opportunity of my life is coming up. I'll be competing on CBS Sports in the Glory Super Fight Series. Uh, I intend on winning that fight decisively and you know stopping my opponent. Uh, after that, I'm already scheduled to be the reserve fight for the Legacy 48 Light Heavyweight Tournament uh, in Louisiana, and that will be another TV broadcast. So I'm looking forward to some really big things in the near couple months. My name is Chris Trammell. I'm a professional kickboxer fighting now for Glory and also for Legacy, pretty much the two uh, largest promotions for kickboxing in my weight class in the world. I'm the Sparta Combat League 2014 Muay Thai middleweight champion, as well as Muay Thai Fighter of the Year in Colorado two-time uh, member for Team USA Kickboxing, competing in Europe and in Asia. Okay. Glory 24 will be taking place at the Magnus Arena in Denver. That's going to be on October 9th. The live broadcast will be on Spike TV, and the Super Fight Series will be broadcast on tape delay on CBS Sports. Legacy 48 will be taking place in Lake Charles, Louisiana. It's going to air on AXS, and that'll be on November 13th.
Yeah, you guys can find me on Facebook at Chris Trammell, C-H-R-I-S-T-R-A-M-E-L-L, -L, or my athlete page, Chris Head Trauma Trammell. That's my nickname. You can follow me on Instagram at Head Trauma Trammell. I'd like to say uh, thank you to Easton Training Center for supporting me always as a coach and as a fighter through their gym. They're an incredible gym in Colorado. Actually, we have, uh, I believe, six or seven gyms now in the area. I work at the Boulder location. Uh, if you guys are interested in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, kickboxing, boxing, CrossFit, any of those things, reach out to EastonTrainingCenter.com. Check us out.